Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine, and it's morning tea with me. And I've already had my raw milk at home. I've got my Charlie mug filled with water. Cute, cute stuff here at the shop today. Lots of sale items. I think I'm going to highlight those here on Instagram for you today. Beautiful day. I hope you get outside and enjoy some of it while it's not super hot yet. I was thinking about a morning tea with me topic, and there's been so much goodness here at the shop. Great conversations books I'm reading, opportunities I'm having, things I'm seeing, just good stuff, good stuff. Don't let the enemy lie to you. There's lots of good stuff happening. So my morning tea with me topic is this. I have this really good, fabulous book that I read that's by my bedside and I read just like a few chapters a night because I really don't want to plow through it. I really want it to sink in. And the thing he's talking about right now is that when someone has prophesied over you, when someone has said something over you, it has to be good and godly first off. It can't be ignorant or not not like not nice or naughty. And when someone has said something over you, um, a prophecy, something about your future, something about your character, something that you don't even feel right now, but you know that's how God sees you, it's your job to walk in it, walk it out as if it's true, as if you're believing it already. And so if you've not had anybody speak anything directly of you, like you don't need a powerful local prophet to say, you are a pioneer. You are Florence Nightingale, which are two things, my two things. You can even just look in the word. The word will tell you over and over again. There's probably a thousand things you're not walking in. Do you know your beloved? Do you think like a beloved? Do you talk like a beloved? Do you know you're redeemed and rescued and protected and provided for? Are you walking and talking and thinking and eating and speaking that way? So live it out. It's your job, it's your part to like stretch those muscles and walk it out and learn how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, ask some people. I'm glad to talk, talk you through it. So that was a deep one. Put on that seatbelt, lock it in, put it into your tool belt, figure out what he's saying about you and then figure out how to get yourself there in your mind and in your heart. So I'm going to show you some cute stuff. Be prepared for that. Only cute stuff here at Soul Shine. Whatever you're doing today, know that I'm sending lots and lots of love. Have a great day.